Here is another endometrium. Compared to the proliferative or pre-ovulatory endometrium we saw, which is really only about a millimeter thick, the secretory or post-ovulatory endometrium, which this is, is generally twice as thick. It's approximately two, three, maybe four uh, millimeters. The main difference between proliferative and secretory endometrium is that whereas in proliferative endometrium, the glands did not contain secretion materials and the cells in both the a gland as well as mitosis, uh, stroma had mitoses. In secretory endometrium, which is thicker, you have a very lack of mitotic figures in the glands and stroma because this endometrium is no longer growing, it's secreting. And in addition, uh, the glands and the blood vessels appear more coiled. The thing is generally thicker eventually towards the end of the secretory period, there will be little sheets of decidual looking cells here, which we don't see, and uh, infiltration of neutrophils because the tissue is now sloughing to become uh, menstrual. But once again, let's just take the two most important features that we can compare them to proliferative. It's very, very, very hard to find a mitotic figure in the gland or the stroma and there's an abundance of secretion in these glands. In the early part of the secretory phase, you will see vacuoles in the cells. But in the later part, which this is, you can see that those vacuoles are gone because they have released all their secretions into the lumen. This is a classical secretory endometrium, also called post-ovulatory endometrium, also called um, the luteal phase, primarily under the influence of progesterone. Thank you very much.